Leisure is Montreal art duo Meredith Carruthers and Susanna Wesley. They've been working together since 2004 when they first met in Ireland. This uh, exhibit is, draws from educational theories by the artist and writer Ben Nicholson and it's really about uh, letting children create their own environments, play in their own environments uh, that they create rather than us creating it for them. Included in the exhibit is a film made during a university course Nicholson taught in the late 1970s and 80s. There is also wall-based works by Leisure. Ben Nicholson, who I spoke about earlier, his mother, Barbara, was also an artist. And so there are photos of her studio. And then, so what the artist did is they put up photos of her studio and in their own studio and allow their kids to um, kind of add to it. So the live objects that you see, like the plants and the toy and the rock, those were all added by the artist's own kids. The exhibit has a variety of objects that can be manipulated and added by visitors. We have corrugated cardboard, we have ping pong balls, we have tools, safe tools for kids to create and really actually people of all ages to create. We leave it for the day, sometimes into the next day or the day after. The point is that the children leave what they create so that the people who come after them can add to it or they can dismantle it and create something new with it. The show's become a popular stop for families this summer, coming in to create with their children. Sophia says adults are enjoying the opportunity to play as well. And if you're stuck, there are activity cards for inspiration. I think what the hope is that, especially within the gallery setting, the gallery experience, we're often told not to touch, just see and no touch. When um, their experience as artists is very hands-on and then when it comes to uh, exhibiting the work, it's not hands-on at all. And so I think they're trying to uh, dismantle that idea of seeing but no touching and creating, letting people create art and um, being part of the process and the outcome. The show is on until January 6th of next year. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.